Hello, it's uh, Pierluigi from Geo Designs, and in this video, we're going to learn how to flatten an image or a group of elements in a Figma. This is a very simple and straightforward process. So, in this case, we're going to flatten this frame, which, as you can see, contains all sorts of different groups and elements. And the way that we're going to do it is we're simply going to select the frame and we're going to right click on it. And uh, as you can see here, you can find the flatten uh, option, which you can access also with the keyboard shortcut uh, command plus E or control plus E on uh, Windows. And uh, once you click on it, uh, you're going to see that uh, the element now is uh, flattened. Now, of course, since uh, this is not a frame, you can see how all of these uh, circles uh, are actually going uh, across uh, all of uh, the clipping. So this is something to consider if uh, you have a similar composition where a frame is actually containing uh, some elements and you set it to clip content. But other than that, uh, you can see that now all of this uh, has become a vector. So it's still in vector graphics. Uh, so this is actually the difference between uh, flattening uh, an element uh, and uh, creating uh, a rasterized version uh, of the element, which you can do by going under objects uh, and then uh, select uh, the rasterize selection. So this is something to keep in mind. If we rasterize the selection, this is simply going to be a still image. And as I'm going to zoom in, uh, you're going to see all of the pixels, uh, but with uh, the flattening, uh, you don't have uh, these uh, issues. So it's all vector graphics, uh, which is scalable. So this is pretty much it for this video. Hope it was helpful. If you want to learn more about Figma, we have uh, a lot of free resources on our website, uh, which I'm leaving in the link in the description. So feel free to check it out uh, and I'll see you in the very next video.